So we all know starting a YouTube channel can be pretty daunting and it can even be a little bit intimidating. I've been at YouTube for a little under two years and even at 2,600 subs, there are some incredible things that have happened in my life just from starting YouTube and being consistent. Now, aside from having my YouTube channel, I am a full-time content creator at my nine to five job and I also own a content marketing business. And before I started YouTube, I didn't really understand what the benefits were. Hell, I didn't even think there would be any benefits. I really didn't understand what this was going to do for me before I started. So as I drive two and a half hours through the Utah desert to get to a paid shoot today, I'm gonna to share with you guys five things I have learned from having a YouTube channel. Now reasons number three and number one are my favorite and I'm also going to share how much money I've made with only 2,600 subscribers so far. Number five. So I never really expected to be rewarded for making YouTube videos or trying to make content, encouraging people to start YouTube or even go out and do street photography. When I first started, I only averaged about 50 to 60 views on a good day. And in my first six months, I barely got over that line of 100 subscribers. Getting to 100 subscribers was really, really tough and I didn't know exactly how I was going to get to a thousand. But when I set this channel up, I convinced myself that this was my creative outlet. This is what I was going to do for fun. And if I could even just get to 500 dollars a month by doing something that I love then I would determine it to be a success so I kept at it I kept creating videos and making content that I simply love to do and once I got over that mental block of just trying to get to a hundred and then thinking how in the hell am I gonna get to a thousand something extraordinary happened the moment that I stopped caring about views and subscribers that's exactly when it all turned around and I started to get just that before I knew it I magically broke 300 got to 500 and then finally got to a thousand subscribers I think in the beginning I wanted this so bad and I wanted so bad to work that you could kind of feel that in my videos. You could kind of feel the pressure that I put on myself to get subscribers and get viewers. And I really do think that I created this weird aura around me of desperation and trying to get you to click subscribe. But again, the moment that I dropped those expectations aside and just started to have fun and create more videos, that's when I really started to grow organically. The moment I made the decision to just be me and let my personality go through the camera, that's when people like you started to subscribe and stick around. And remember, when I started all this, I just wanted to simply make $500 a month off of YouTube so I could just buy groceries or maybe have some extra money for vacations or if I have a family in the future, it's just like an extra buffer, an extra source of income. And even though I don't have a crazy amount of subscribers right now, I'm still making about $150 a month from YouTube by just creating videos that I love. I know that's not a huge dollar amount, but that pays for my car insurance or if I wanna get a new pair of shoes or if I just wanna have some extra fun money or if I wanna buy like 12 carne asada burritos. And that's what I learned in point number five. The faster that you could just be authentic, the faster that you can be yourself and just simply do what you love on your YouTube channel, the faster and closer you'll get to that monetization. And let's be honest with ourselves, $150 right now isn't a lot of money, but I know that's going to compound and I know I'm gonna be at $500 a month in no time. As you build up your channel and you're being consistent and you're building up that library of older videos that are just kind of sticking around, those videos start to get an increase of numbers. If you go back to the videos that I published way back when I started my YouTube channel, those videos are just kind of collecting views and now they're surpassing about 20 to 25,000 views. And that's a big chunk of where that money is coming from. But guess what? YouTube is one of the platforms that continues to pay you for your older videos. It's like an investment. The faster you start creating videos and posting those, the more they're gonna pay you in the future. Number four, and it's a little bumpy. <laughs> I have become a way better creator. When I first started YouTube, I think that for a lot of people and for me, you sometimes wanna go and record a video and you don't really know what you're gonna do and so you just grab your camera, you go to a location like the one that I was at and you don't really have anything planned. You don't have anything scripted. So what happens is you go out and you start wasting a lot of time and I think that that actually feeds into that whole notion or that myth of, oh, YouTube is way too time consuming. I can't do it. I'm way too busy. I'm never going to get any traction. And yeah, just like with anything, if you don't prepare and you just kind of show up and you have no idea what you're going to shoot, what you're going to talk about, what the video is about, then yeah, you're gonna waste a lot of time. And believe me, I know a lot about wasting time with YouTube because in the beginning, I fell into the trap of just thinking that I could go out with my camera and produce a really cool video. You have to put some thought into this. You have to have purpose behind your videos because people can sniff it out. If you're just going out and just shooting to shoot, 
and there's no value in your video, the viewers are going to know. And two things are guaranteed. They're not gonna watch your other videos and they're never going to come back. Everything I do now has purpose. It has a vision, it's got talking points, it's scripted, it's clear. I know exactly what I'm going to say the moment that I get out to my destination to record a video. And I've taken that approach with everything that I do, even at my marketing content nine to five creator job and my business. And listen, you don't need a perfect script. You don't need a perfect plan. As long as you have a concept of what you wanna talk about and you've got some structure and some talking points, you will be ahead of the curve and start outperforming all these other creators on YouTube. All right, so I'm coming through the back way of Utah to get to my destination and uh, this is Eureka. It's like an old mining town, so really cool old vintage buildings over here, but this takes me on to point number three, and that's brand collaborations. With my channel being even just at 2,600 subscribers, I am now getting brands that are reaching out to me, wanting to collaborate, wanting to pay me to make videos, either reviewing gears, different lenses, or in some cases, they even just send me products uh, at no charge for me to review. And even though you may not have a channel that is photography or videography specific like mine, it's still super encouraging to know that brands are working with what are called macro content creators. When I first started this YouTube channel, I thought I was ways, ways, ways away from ever getting any reputable brands trying to collaborate or trying to work with my channel. And it's super encouraging to know that you don't have to be a YouTuber with 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, or even a million subscribers to get those opportunities early on. Not only is it nice to, yes, get some things for free or maybe make some money off of that, but it's also a way to keep my content fresh when a brand reaches out and says, hey, we'd like you to review this specific lens, this specific camera, or this product. Again, 2,600 subs isn't something to write home about or get super excited about, but these opportunities are real and they're coming early on. And I think that's pretty cool. And here's a huge tip. No matter how small your YouTube channel is, make sure you leave an email somewhere in your YouTube channel where these brands and collaborators can reach out to you. All right, now let's head out because I am running out of time and I've got two more things to share with you. Now I just got to the place where I'm shooting tonight and it looks like the sun's gonna go down but I still owe you reason number two and number one. Make sure you stick around for reason number one. Cause that woman that I had wrapped around my finger just to come unwind. Let's pack my bag and opened up the door. And I got a feeling she didn't want me around no Messing around And that woman that I had Wrapped around my finger Just to come unwound And that woman that I had Wrapped around my finger Just to come unwound Awesome, dude. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I love this. So I made it out here in farm country in Delta, Utah, got the project done. I even had the person who I was filming uh, sing a song on their acoustic for me. It was pretty freaking cool. What a great day. But let's talk about number two. And also there's just like a big ass haystack behind me. So it's really helping the aesthetic of this video. So reason number two for me is having a creative outlet like YouTube. It keeps me busy, it gets me out of the house. This kind of creative outlet just gets me out the door, it gets me excited to go and do something that I love every single day or every single weekend. And I've gotta be honest, I am one of the laziest people on the planet. If I can find any excuse to bail on my friends or just stay at home, lay in bed, watch movies, eat junk food, I'm gonna do that. But life just can't be going to your nine to five job and then just kind of pigging out or staying at home and being isolated. So what I've learned so far with my YouTube channel is that having a creative outlet absolutely matters. When I started YouTube, I set all these goals and all these achievements that I wanted to hit and I felt like it was something Thing that I needed to do in the moment. But over time with consistency, when you start giving it your all and you start to enjoy YouTube, it becomes just that, it becomes fun. You're looking at somebody who used to have some serious FOMO, who felt the need to be around people all of the time, who always needed that next itch scratched. 
And over time I realized that all of that pent up energy that I just needed to get out, I could do it creatively. And I absolutely love the direction that this channel has gone in. I'm always looking forward to the next location, the next video idea, and the next adventure. And finally the last reason, number one, the haystack by the way is right over there, I just literally twisted, I just did a different angle, so I'm kind of cheating, but number one is community. Look, listen. I know that I'm only at YouTube a year and a half into it. I know that I'm at 2,600 subs and that's it. But I have created some amazing, incredible company in the community that I've made on YouTube. I read your comments. I watch your YouTube videos. Some of you have even followed me on Instagram. We've connected there. And it's truly incredible to connect with people, a community of those who love all of the things that you love. So look, I am living, breathing, walking proof that you don't need a lot of subscribers or you don't have to be making a ton of money right from the get-go with your YouTube channel. There are real ways that a small YouTube channel like mine can really improve your life and teach you lessons as you go. Don't get caught up in the trap of how fast you're growing or how many views you're getting. Everyone's pace is different and there are going to be incredible things that you'll learn about yourself through this YouTube journey. Those are the top five things that I've learned so far. If you guys learned anything, please like and subscribe. And if you guys want to watch more videos about my YouTube journey, watch these videos right here. And I'll see you guys on the next one.